Hey guys, it's going to Delmar again and welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time in the channel, welcome to you as well. I'm really excited to have you. Today I'm going to be talking about everything that you need to know before you start either an augmented reality application or an augmented reality game. A lot of people ask me the question is, Delmar, what should I use today? There are way too many options in 2021. And you can either start with Wuforia and you might be, you know, selecting the right framework or you might want to start with, you know, ARKit specifically, or you might decide to say, okay, I'm just going to do Android because that's where my customer base is. Or you might want to go and use the A wall because you just want to share a link and you don't have to worry about, you know, having to deploy an application natively. So I want to cover what's the benefits of using either one of them, what tools are available and which ones is free, which one is paid. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first one that I want to talk about is ARKit, right? So if you start with ARKit, what devices are you going to be supporting? So ARKit is part of the Apple ecosystem. So if you want to support ARKit today, that means that you're going to be targeting iPhones. That means that you're going to be targeting iPad devices. A lot of features are available in ARKit. So you can either do plain detection, you can do anchors, you can do point cloud, image targets. You can also do body tracking, which is really amazing. And late, lately is being a lot of focus on LiDAR. So that means that you can start doing a meshing. So I can start scanning this room and create a 3D representation of the room. So ARKit is very powerful because they're always on the cutting edge when it comes to you know, augmented reality. The thing that I also want to emphasize is that it's Swift, right? So the programming language is going to be either Swift or Objective-C. So if you have a team of developers or you have a team that you don't have necessarily you know, the skill sets required to do that, you might need to think about other solutions. I'm not saying that using Objective-C and Swift is a bad selection. I just want you to think about what other options are available today. So ARKit is really powerful. I really recommend it, but I want you to say, okay, now that I'm supporting ARKit, what if you wanted to support, maybe you want to do Android devices because there's a really large pool of devices available. So if you want to do that, then there, that's when it comes to AR Core. In this case, you know, Google is also creating their own API, their own set of tools that are available. They also support device tracking. They also support anchors, image targets. They don't support body tracking. They do support face tracking, just like ARKit supports. So you need to check and see, okay, what options are available right now? What do I need to bring to the customer? What can I start, you know, my team going up quickly and maybe come up with a solution that will work for your ecosystem. So in my case, I wouldn't want to support ARKit specifically because I want to give an option to the people that have Android devices. So if I had a business, I would want to look for a solution that I could actually target both because not only is going to make your job easier, but it's also going to allow you to easily develop quicker. So imagine this, so you're working on an Android application and all of a sudden, you know, ARKit, you know, comes out with a new feature such as LiDAR, but now you're left with AR, AR Core and there's really nothing that you can do other than create your own solution, which is going to take you a lot more time to implement than having a solution that supports both. So what kind of solution can you use today to support both different types of technologies? Because you may want to support iOS and you also want to support AR Core. In that case, I would recommend that you look into AR Foundation. That is a framework that I've been teaching a lot about in the, in the channel. So with AR Foundation, you don't really have to worry too much about it. The AR Foundation was created by Unity. It's a plugin that is available. And currently the latest version is 4.0 for, for and greater. They're going to be, they keep releasing multiple, you know, multiple versions. They, the cool thing about them is that they really get close to releases of AR Kit. So let's say that you are developing with AR Foundation, AR Kit comes out with body tracking. I haven't used it in the past. All I have to do is basically just update the AR Kit plugin, which is available in the with the Unity package manager. The same thing with AR Core. If they come out with a new version, all I have to do is just basically update the package. You may need to do some refactoring on your code, but for the most part, it should be a minimum impact on what you need to do in order for you to support that. The other cool thing by using AR Foundation is everything is in the Unity ecosystem. I am a Unity developer. I love Unity tools. And if you want to use C Sharp, this is an option that is available, right? Because that's a language that Unity supports. So you're going to have a team that is dedicated with C Sharp, and that team is going to be increasing their skills in C Sharp. You know, something comes out with ARKit, they don't have to worry about, you know, staying up to date with Swift. They don't have to be worrying about with Java on the Android side. So that is a big benefit as a, you know, as a business owner, 
as a development team leader because you're going to be able to move faster than having to train your people and getting a specialized people can also be very expensive. The next option is going to be Buforia. I know a lot of people in the Buforia team that are great, they're always talking about how amazing it is and I had a chance to look at it today and they do support all the features that I was telling you about in the, you know, with ARKit, with AR Core, and also with AR Foundation. The thing with Buforia is there are more specializer and they have more robust tools for the enterprise. So if you want to, let's say that you want to do object detection, you may want to have a toy and then have that toy be recognized because you may want to have maybe a legend of the toy or maybe you want to instruct people how to use that toy. Or let's say that you have, you know, a car manufacturer and you want to show, you know, maybe the mechanics need to improve their workflow by the way of having augmented reality. Like Mercedes today, you know, you, with Mercedes, you can wear the HoloLens, the mechanics can, you know, can start repairing a car and the experience walks them through what parts, where are the parts, you know, if I want to, if I want to change the part, where is it located? And it basically gives me a legend of where everything is and also more visual cues in order for me to make my job a lot easier. So with Buforia, you can do a lot of that. You can do object tracking. You can do what they call model tracking. You can also do area tracking, which is really, really amazing. You can basically scan your entire, you know, your entire environment with a machine that is going to allow us to do lighter detection. They have, you know, a lot of the machines that they use are the professional machines. I was looking at one of the videos that they released and you basically scan an office and in that office, there's a printer and you can use a printer. You might need to use a printer in a specific way. And they basically instruct everything in there in augmented reality. So Buforia is really powerful. They have a lot of tools. I looked at some of the pricing and it is a little expensive, but you can start if your small business is only $99.99 a month for a small business. They do limit what features you have available. So I will look into them if you want to, you know, look at some of those enterprise solutions because that's where the power comes. So you might say, well, I have a small team, I have a small budget, so you might need to go to AR Foundation because that might work better for you. But if you want to target more of an enterprise solution, you might need to look at Buforia. The last one that I want to talk about briefly is going to be the AWOL. The AWOL is amazing. I know some friends that are using it today because they didn't want to really go into Unity Path. They didn't want to use, you know, AR Kit or AR Core. And not because it was complicated, it's because it's a lot easier to do some of those things with the AWOL. What are some of those things that are easier to do? Well, let's say that you want to do image tracking on an object. You may want to, you know, start, let's say that I have a, I have a cup of water, right? I do, I grab this water. I want to have an overlay of the water. Maybe it tells me where the water is from. It tells me how pure is this water is, where does it come from? So with, with the AWOL, you can do a lot of that very easily without having to do a lot of coding. AR Foundation, it's not, it's really easy to do it, but with the AWOL, all you have to do is just use HTML and JavaScript and then drop your images. And it's a lot easier for people that haven't really used, you know, C Sharp or they haven't used Swift or Java or Objective C. So that wraps it up today. I hope you have a good time. If you're interested in me covering any other technology, please let me know. Thank you guys.